All right. Welcome, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me tonight or this afternoon if you're on the West Coast. So let's take a moment and look down at your feet. Remember, our whole body's alignment depends on a good foundation. So feet shoulders width apart, perfectly straight. You hear me say this in all my classes because when we can really build a good foundation from the ground up, we can really start to heal our bodies. So take a moment. We're just gonna do a twisting and turning motion, letting those arms swing. Nice deep breaths. Remember to let those shoulders hang down. Feel the movement come from your leg. It's controlled by your waist. And then it's letting those arms just swing freely from side to side. Now you can keep here tapping the lower back. If you'd like to improve your digestion a little bit, you can tap on the stomach or lower ribs. Or we can awaken our lungs a little bit by tapping on the front of the chest. You can do a combination of all three, kind of moving up and down through the body. Taking it nice and easy. Remember that focus is on a nice straight spine, having that length from the crown of your head to your tailbone. So we're really just warming up our body, getting that energy flowing. Now coming back down, we're gonna do a little bit more movement here. So if you'd like to ease off for a second, you can come and just watch. We're gonna do that same movement, but this time we're gonna lift our toes. So when you turn, you're gonna lift your heel and turn up a little bit, turn a little bit more. Remember to be careful with your knees, but this allows a little bit more movement through our body. So lifting those toes as you turn a little bit further. Don't tweak the knees, keep them in line as best you can. And just a nice movement here all the way through the hips, turning from side to side. Remember to check in on your breath. Let it be smooth, even, and continuous. And we'll slowly start to ease off. So maybe planting your foot and then just coming back to center, easing off. Wonderful. Take a moment, roll those shoulders down. And then we'll take a big lift up with the arms and then down through the front of the body. One more time, settling that energy down, lifting up and then down through to the hips. All right, take a moment, relax. Let that energy find the middle of your body. We're gonna lift our arms up to about shoulder height, shoulder width apart, palms face each other. Bending into the legs, reach forward, find a stretch through your shoulder blades. And then we're gonna open the chest, stand up, lift the heart. Maybe you look up a little bit. Then bend through the knees, palms, come back to center, reach through the shoulders. Finding that movement through our spine, lift with the chest. And then rounding. So move at your own pace, find that movement through your spine, stretching through the back while opening the heart. And remember to check in on your breath. Don't press too far, maybe 70%. Just easing into our movements tonight. Nice deep breaths. Feel your spine opening as you extend. And then the chest and heart opening as you lift those arms up. We'll do a few more. Let yourself relax, let those shoulders hang down. Just really finding that movement through the upper back. The legs are nice and engaged, so we're feeling strong and heavy, drawing that energy from the earth. And then we're sinking back down. Let's do one more. Wherever you are, lifting, 
We'll end with that rounding and that reach. And then drop the arms down as you stand up. And we'll settle that energy back down, lifting up, looking up, and then down in front of the body. Two more times, lifting and settling down. Really trying to relax through the arms. Beautiful. Taking a moment, relaxing. Everyone will join together. Okay. This time we're going to sink down. So sink into your legs. Feel that weight in your heels. And then we're going to lift the arms up to the front of the body and come up onto the toes. Come back down, bend into the leg, weight in the heels, relax those arms, bring them back, and then reach up to the sky, onto the toes, and then settle back down. So moving at your own pace. Remember, listening to your body, lifting as high as is comfortable. The higher you lift, the more you're going to challenge your balance, and then really settle back down. Big movements through the spine, lifting up and lowering down. Really listening to your body, relaxing through the upper body, and really feeling that energy sink down as you lower. Now, how low you go is up to you. We'll do a couple more rounds, really feel that energy sink, and then draw up through the sky. Two more. Moving at your own pace. Do one more lifting and lowering. And then we'll lift up one more time. And then float the arms down the side. Settle back down, relaxing all the way down to the side of your body. Beautiful, inhaling arms up, settling that energy back down through the front of the body, relaxing and letting go. We'll do two more. This is so great for just calming our nerves, calming our mind. Beautiful. Taking that moment, we'll let everyone come together. Beautiful. Okay, from here, we're going to reach the arms forward, step out with one foot, curling back to the toes, bending into one leg, and then back to center. Palms face back. Reaching out, bend into the other leg, find a nice stretch as you challenge your balance and then release. Switching side to side, moving at your own pace. Find that length through the front of the body and then back to center. Moving in your own way. Maybe you feel a stretch through the legs. Maybe you're just finding that balance, moving that energy from one side to the other and then back. Doing a couple more rounds, sinking and reach. And then back. Remember to keep those knees in line as you sink down. So we're using those legs to the best of our advantage, healing our body as we move this energy around. We'll do one or two more rounds. It depends on how fast you're moving. And then we'll make our way back to center. Take that time, bring those arms up, and again, down the front of the body. One more this time. Uh, 
All right, before we move any further, let's take a moment, opening up through our hips. Maybe we take a little bit of a wider stance and we're just gonna move from side to side. So you can have your hands on your hips or you can bring your palm to your lower back. You could even turn your palm so the back of your palm is on your lower back. And then we're just gonna rotate from side to side, finding that circling motion, releasing through the lower back and the hips. Remember that even now, we wanna check in on our breath. We wanna move in a way that feels best for our bodies. Relaxing through the shoulders, even though we might be opening up that heart and chest area. Do a couple more rounds this way. Nice deep breaths here. And then we'll go the other direction. Really letting go of any tension you might feel. Couple of more. And then we'll come back to center. Easing off, release the arms, find that length up and then float down. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of balancing. So it's up to you. You can bring a chair in front of you. You could grab onto a piece of furniture. We're gonna lift from one leg to the other bringing some energy in while working on our balance. So for those of you who have ever done Tai Chi with me, this is similar to golden rooster standing on one leg. So we're gonna shift and we're gonna lift one arm and one leg up, and then we're gonna come back down. Shift, find your balance and lift up, and then come back down. So maybe it's inhale up, exhale back down. Moving from side to side, couple of tips for you. Pick something that's unmoving to stare at. Maybe it's a beautiful picture on your wall. Maybe it's something as simple as a light switch. And just take that time. Make sure to lift through the crown of your leg. Your head, don't lock out your leg. So just lifting up nice and tall and floating back down feeling that energy rise and then fall. So it's like we're lifting it up and then settling back down. And we're just moving from side to side, feeling it flow, beautiful. We'll do a couple more rounds. Find that movement, find that ab and core engagement as you lift up so that as you're lifting you're still nice and tall nice and straight spine beautiful let's do two more rounds one side and then the other just moving at your own pace so if we move a little bit quicker it makes it a little bit easier because we can step back down quickly one more round Beautiful, lifting up and lower down. Okay, find that balance, lift the arms up the front, look up and then float down. One more time, lifting up and then float down. From here, looking up, so lift the palms up the front of the body, rotate the palms to support the heavens, and then float the arms down. We're going to do this a couple of times, so maybe you pause to look at the direction of your feet, making sure that it's straight so that we have that beautiful alignment through our body. Inhale, lifting up, support, and then relax down. Beautiful, finding balance in our body and our mind, releasing energy, relaxing into each pose. This is our goal. 
We'll do one more. Float down. And then one the other direction, settling that energy. So lifting the arms up. And then settling back down. All right, from here, we're going to lift those arms up. And we're going to lean into one side. Finding length through the ribs. And then bring those arms back the way they came to the side direction, circling. We're going to change it up here. And then bring the arms across. So gathering that energy in, big circle with the arms back to the other side and down, big circle, and then reach through. How far you lean is up to you, back to center and then around. So find a pace that works best for you, feeling your whole body connect and reach out as we play with this ball of energy, moving it through and around. Again, finding your own breath and your own pace, that connection through to our body as we lengthen and we settle down, we find that balance and we're stimulating and nourishing every part of our body. We'll do a couple more rounds. Really letting go, finding that release, not pushing too far. One more round, side to side. Finishing that round, ending where we started. Last one. And back to center, reach towards the heavens and then float down. One more time, lifting up and float down. Always settling that energy after every progression, lifting and settling down. One more time. Beautiful relaxation through the arms. And down. Okay, working on our hips and that energy through our core body. This one's going to challenge our balance a little bit. So shifting the weight to one leg, maybe your right side first, usually a little bit more stable. We're going to lift and open and tap the ground. Then come back to center and tap. So pulling that energy from the hips, opening, letting our emotions go, coming back to tap and then back. So there's a couple of things here. You could hold the arms out. You could hold them in front. You could hold them on your hip, but same applies. Pick something on moving for your balance, lift and open and back. So just circling from one side to the other. We'll do three more. Remember to keep those hips nice and level so that our spine is nice and straight. Beautiful, one more. And come back. Okay, shifting over. This one is really hard for our balance, but really good for bringing the energy through the hips, okay? So lift and tap and then back and tap. And you can always hold on to something, right? We can always grab onto a piece of furniture. Check in on your standing leg. Is it locked? Because that's gonna make it really difficult. The other thing that's gonna make it difficult is if you're too bent. So we have to find that perfect in between, bent but not bent, straight but not straight, really focusing on this opening 
We have the core engaged, okay? And we're just moving. Three more. Beautiful work. Breathing into it. Last two and last one. Okay, come back to center. Releasing our hips one more time. You can bring those hands to your lower back or just have them on your hips and just take a moment and just circle. Let your hips go. Feel that pressing out in front so that we're opening in the opposite direction. We'll do a few rounds this way and then we'll move the other direction. So turning opposite direction. Just feeling that opening and that release. And then we'll come back to center. All right, from here, we're gonna bring our hands on our belly, bring them up to your ribs, down your lower back, and we're gonna fold forward, bring those hands down the backs of your legs, release and relax down. Come into a flat back, looking out, lift the arms, and come all the way up, reaching up and relax down. So hands to the belly, through to the ribs, the back, all the way down, the back of your legs, relaxing down as you fold forward, lifting up, arms up, and then lift and relax down. Hands to the belly, moving at your own pace. Ribs, lower back, down the back of your legs as you fold forward and relax the head. Flat back, arms come up to head level. We lift up to the sky and then relax down. We're gonna do three more. So hands to the belly, ribs, lower back, bringing that energy down the backs of the legs. And then nice flat back, arms up, gathering that energy to the sky, lift the heart, and then relax back down. Beautiful, let's do two more. Nice deep breaths, finding that movement through your spine, using our core and glutes as we lift up and then relax down. One more. Coming up and then release. Taking that moment, we'll just lift up, find length through the body and then relax back down. All right, three times, settling down that energy. Back down through the front of our body. Lifting up on our inhale and settling down on the exhale. One more time, really lifting up and settling down. This time, bringing the hands to the belly, resting the eye, feeling that energy that's moved through the body, feeling that connection to your breath. Those nice deep inhales, feeling those hands being pressed away. And then as the navel falls towards the spine. Letting a smile wash over to carry throughout the rest of your day. We'll lift those arms up one more time. Lift them up to the sky, support the heavens. And then float back down. And just really wonderful class tonight. Wonderful work. I hope everyone is feeling good. I see everyone's nice and send out. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Oh, great work.